Start at www.kubi.pl in 91 languages in chapter TS001. Obscure camera. I have a camera with a sensory lamp. When I say spaghetti, people suddenly freeze. Their eyes look on timelessly, afraid of the flash, which intimidates and keeps them forever. Remember the clay your mother. Oh sweet Ishtar, lover of my body. These are Barrow's lips, dry with longing for you. There is no time to powder the noses and smooth the blouse. The camera goes to sleep with me in the case. The eye moves confidently. Red felt covers the silent and cold optics. Chemicals nibble on the film and they cannot calm down after the light shock, after the session. Incomprehensible images wait in negative frames, squeezed and delicate. With trembling lips repeat, Oh my celluloid, oh my celluloid, save us, Lord. My fingers spread apart to fit the walls of the tailored case. On the wall, a small thermometer and a hygrometer indicate the danger when it is approaching. Stainless steel internal latches ensure peace of mind. I stole the neck pillow from the meat horn. They had a mummy there. Racks, coffee and infuser in the right drawer. Magnifier and needles in the left shoulder. Cellulite catcher works silently. I turned off the muscle regulator the day before yesterday. Night thirst suction pump turned on. Good night. Mr. Blessing. 3 in the morning. Mounted policeman on the corner. Stuck. He is afraid. He is afraid that raindrops will fly down his neck from the pickle hobby. She has a scarf stitch by stitch. She appreciates him. His saddle is dented, and rheumatism torments the already soaked armbands. I watch him sometimes from my room window, smoking a cheap cigar. Next to me, I have a whole battery of expensive, colonial colored stripes, both from smuggling, and from Kozielkow and from Neusia, as a sign of sympathy. The rain calms me down. That dream again. It was a sunny morning and I was kneeling in front of a round table with a thick white tablecloth and a porcelain service of the Ruthenian Kuznetsovs, this Farfurnia was producing light green porcelain. Between the cups on the table, the legs rise to the sky. And this is an officer of some kind. And I was kneeling to him with a pleading voice, yes, you're pleading. It was already raining into the cups. I drank tea from one and I am standing on the table in a white nightgown and the officer from under the table salutes, yes, your dignity. And then I wake up and look for orders, and it's 3 in the morning. I don't know if this is a good dream. Something is whispering to me. But why in such a language? So I sit and look at the horse. It's been here for a month. Maybe it's his thoughts? Maybe for months a dream enchanted in raindrops has been digging the minds of the sleeping people nearby? Did I worry about the politician and his gal? I smoke a cigar wrapped in a blanket and thick smoke and it gets wet. Such a service. It would be like that, somewhere far, over the sea, over the mountains. Oblivion. Forgetfulness is immortality on credit. Nobody knows that a forgotten person is no longer alive, or maybe still dead, or maybe just alive. I forgot that he is alive is the same as forgetting that he is dead. Forgetting is an invisible flower. It smells like dry tears. It soothes the pain. He plays with knots. The archivist's mind penetrates with uncertainty, and the subsequent numbers are cold and hopeless. Forgetfulness is hunchbacked and sweet, a casual promise. He is the pins that are being put on the start again and again. Forgetting is an invisible flower. Its roots crawl just below the surface of the smile. It feeds on memory. It steals childhood. Punishes the mother. He is a torch on the shore of the brook. Singing grass in the steppe. Dinosaur egg. Eternity. The helm of nations. Mulea the Brave. Guardian of Sleep. Forgetting is an invisible flower. And that's it. Start, at, www.kubi.pl in 91 languages, in chapter TS001.